And the Durham School Board will also vote today on whether to increase pay for its bus drivers. Now, all of this is in response to a nationwide CDL shortage, which is making it really hard for schools to recruit drivers. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway is digging deeper into how that pay raise would be paid for and how it could impact other districts. Several districts have given out raises for its drivers, but Durham leaders say that this move would make its drivers the highest paid in the state, at least for now. The proposed pay scale would raise the minimum wage for Durham bus drivers from $16.25 an hour to $17. Some transportation directors here in the Triangle say they've lost drivers to companies like Amazon and UPS. I asked Durham's executive director of transportation, Matthew Palmer, if that's an issue they've run into. That is a part of it. That is a part of it. There's also, admittedly, a lot of competition right now within the school bus industry. The district says it would also offer $24 hourly for anyone with at least 30 years of experience. Palmer says they're reallocating money from some of their open positions to pay for the raises, so taxpayers will not have to flip the bill. And we have over 130 open school bus driver positions at present. And so some of that money is being devoted to those staff members who are able to be here, as, the, as well as those that we Hope will join us soon. These jobs are full time and they're offering $2,000 signing bonuses and $1,000 for employees who recommend a new hire. Other districts like Chapel Hill Carborough also voted on pay increases earlier in the year, so it's a competitive market right now. And Durham says it would not rule out another raise in the future. That was one of the points that we heard from our bus drivers was that they wanted to be able to do this and to do it well and to dedicate. 40 hours a week, and so we're able to provide that. The school board meets tonight at 6.30 to vote on this proposal. In Durham, Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News.